I'm starting this video a little differently because I want to talk about it at the end. Uh, we had fault code 3135 that logged. <clears throat> I've got the fault snapshot up so you, you can take a look at it and you can see that the diesel particulate outlet differential pressure was minus 0.71 with the engine stopped and the dosing unit purging. And the key has been switched off, def flu is being pulled back to the tank, 3135 goes active, and it could be a glitch, but it's most likely that the sensor is beginning to have issues. So the uh, DPF differential pressure sensor, also called the uh, after treatment system diesel particulate differential pressure sensor, also called by engineers the after treatment delta P sensor. It's all the same part. And that's that uh, black sensor with two tubes on it that hooks to the soft hoses that you see on the after treatment diesel particulate filter assembly. And that sensor, it's a very interesting sensor to me because it does a variety of jobs. And uh, some, this is some of the jobs that that sensor does. It, of course, measures the restriction across the diesel particulate filter. It measures the back pressure from the SCR system. So if you had a buildup of depth fluid in your decomp pipe and it almost completely plugged up, it would measure that back pressure. If you had a failed SCR element, it would measure that back pressure. And it does this while you're driving down the road. So it can measure the differential across the DPF. And then the ECM can just look at the outlet and measure, or the rear tube, and just measure the back pressure. How does it do that? Well, at Keon, it zeroes itself, and it zeroes across the DPF, and then it zeroes the outlet tube pressure. So while the engine's running, it has those two references that it compares to to do the measurements. So the sensor also can self-check itself. How? Well... Um, fault code 3135, that has two conditions for, for the running of that um, routine. The first is, while the engine's running, that routine is running that would check the sensor and for fault 3135 if it needed to log it. If the exhaust outlet temperature is above about... 392 degrees and you shut the key off it will wait 60 seconds and then it will take a reading off that sensor and take a look at it. Now 60 se seconds after you turn the key off what's going on? Well you should hear the DEF pump running pulling DEF fluid back out of the system and putting it back in the DEF tank so we don't have a freeze issue. That runs about a minute and a half on the newer engines, that routine. And don't forget, the ECM doesn't shut down for minimum of a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes. So pretty much when you hear the DEF pump stop, returning DEF fluid to the tank after the engine quit running and the keys off, when that sound stops, the ECM's in the final stages of shutting down and, sh and it's shut down. So that's another reason why it's so important when you shut that key off to leave it off for, I always say, look at your watch, two full minutes, okay? Uh, otherwise, some of these tests and subroutines and sensor checks and system checks are not permitted to run. So if someone had snapped the key off and snapped it right back on, this fault would have never logged because this fault logged because of the second routine. Now let's take a look and see what actually happened. Okay, we're gonna take a quick look back at our sensor snapshot 
and the very bottom line it says after treatment diesel particulate filter outlet pressure it was negative 0.71 and it can't be that value so uh, the sensor was failed and it logged 3135 now let's go take a look at uh, what that sensor does the checks that it does and what it can test here's a very simple block diagram and number one represents the sensor we're talking about the after treatment diesel particulate filter differential pressure sensor or the delta p sensor as the engineers call it uh, the green tube going to it the green lines on the bottom there in the front of it to the left of it that represents the um, before the DPF filter measurement and on the back side or the right side of that sensor number one that represents the after diesel particulate filter pressure sensing tube also let's call it a dual function tube it's also the uh, diesel particulate filter outlet pressure which is a separate pressure so you can see that if the um, SCR brick C completely plugged we would have a lot of pressure build up between the outlet of the DPF and the um, whatever caused the plugging at the SCR and that red tube would measure that as diesel particulate filter outlet pressure and so what does the sensor do well a the sensor is able to measure the restriction across the dpf b over to the right in a decomp tube it's able to measure back pressure that could be caused by depth buildup inside of the decomp tube i have seen decomp, tu decomp tubes that had a hole through them through the through the dry depth that was probably not much bigger than two inches across and of course um, faults out the roof for uh, DPF outlet pressure three it can measure <clears throat> a plugged SCR brick which would also cause back pressure I saw that one time it was on a fire truck and the fault only happened when the truck got on the freeway and this was a small town and the truck would pull out of the driveway and turn right most of the time and that was not a freeway run it would drive to the fire and put it out occasionally it would have to turn left out of the driveway and get on a freeway ramp to go to another portion of town that was across the river and whenever it did that it would fault out and go into a severe derate and we couldn't figure out why when he went to the right it had no problem but going to the left it did and we used the magical data logger to prove that on a road test what was really wrong so anyway uh this sensor the delta p sensor after treatment differential pressure sensor is a very very interesting sensor and it checks a lot of things on the engine and after the engine shut off and everything calms down if the exhaust temperature was warm enough it will even self check itself and see if there's any pressure there which there shouldn't be it should all be stabilized thanks for joining me in engine shop joe see you next time please subscribe and tell your friends about the channel